from a small village in the peninsular Indian state of Kerala, on the periphery of the globally renowned Western Ghats biodiversity hotspot, a team of Indian and British scientists have discovered a bizarre looking fish considered once in a century find. Uragam, a quiet village known for its agriculture fields and spice trade, located 45 kilometers south of the city of Calcutt, has suddenly shot into global limelight with the discovery of the golem snakehead. When local youngster Ajir stumbled upon two individuals of a mysterious looking fish from his paddy field after the catastrophic floods of 2018, little did he realize that this would end up being an evolutionary distinct lineage within the freshwater fish family Chanidae. As I mentioned before, it really takes some interested and, and dedicated individuals to make these interesting subterranean species known to science. And we really have to congratulate Mr. Ajir for recognizing that this is something unusual and then also for making these specimens available to my colleagues in, in India for further study. So it takes people like him really to help us scientists to progress with our scientific knowledge. The freshwater fish family Chanidae comprises of around 50 valid species commonly known as snakeheads. They are found in rivers, lakes and swamps in Africa and Asia and are highly valued as food fishes and forms the basis of both wild fisheries and aquaculture in these regions. Snakehead fishes are obligatory air breathers and have a specialized, well vascularized suprabranchial organ and a highly modified vascular system which together makes snakehead fishes less dependent on water. As a result, snakeheads can live in oxygen poor waters and also survive out of water for several hours. This mysterious new fish is not only a new species but also a remarkable new genus under the family Chanidae and the first ever species of this family to be recorded from a subterranean habitat. The new fish has been named Anitna Chana Golam after Golam, the much popular character from The Lord of the Rings a creature that when underground and during its subterranean life changed its morphological features. Southern India is globally renowned for its subterranean fish species diversity. So finding a fish from under the ground was not really a big news. But what makes this discovery interesting is that this fish represents a family that has never been recorded from the subterranean environments. When I first saw the fish under a microscope, I could immediately see that it is different from all other snakehead in the world. It had some unusual morphological character. The subterranean aquifers and wells of Kerala are a global hotspot for unique species that are often anatomically so derived that their systematic relationships among higher level taxa are difficult to establish. These are no doubt ancient lineages separated from their putative closest relatives usually by tens of millions of years. I guess I've, I've had the privilege of working on some really unusual fish species and getting to name them. Some of these are some of the smallest fishes and vertebrates. Maybe some people who watch this video will, will know about Pedocypris, which includes the smallest. Um, fish species and, and I would still claim vertebrate species but also weird fishes like Daniela Dracula which is a cypriniform a carp relative which wasn't supposed to have any teeth and yet it has these weird fang-like extensions which turned out not to be teeth but they look very much like teeth so really a spectacular find in many ways but among these I would say that this new subterranean snakehead species is is probably the most unusual one I've, I've ever worked on certainly ranks among the top five weird species that i've 
been involved in describing and studying. To me, the Golem snake is no doubt the most remarkable fish to have been ever discovered from India. But who knows what is in store in the subterranean ecosystems of Kerala. We may find more exciting discoveries in the future. Using advanced anatomical and molecular tools, the collaborative research being carried out at the Kerala University of Fisheries and Ocean Studies, Kochi, the Natural History Museum, London, and the Indian Institute for Science Education and Research, Isa Pune, are now close to solving these phylogenetic and biogeographic puzzles.